now we got our axle already drawn. The next thing we need to draw is our front wheel. So we'll go ahead and create a new file here as well. I'm going to leave this one open just so I can come back to it later if I need to. So I go ahead and hit Flat Custom, hit OK. Again, our orientation should be on the right plane, so I'll set myself normal to there by basically, again, right mouse clicking or selecting and then hit it right there and you can see it. Now, let's go check out some rules real quick. I'm going to go over here to what's known as the Competition Rules Guide for Dragster. And this is a really good document you need to become very, very familiar with. So it has in here all the rules regarding setting up and running a dragster. TSA, or the Technology Student Association, provides a really, really detailed information about each competition you're competing in. Like, for example, here, it says dragsters that do not meet these specifications are disqualified from the race. Uh, they really mean that. They'll disqualify you if you don't have your dragster created correctly. Now, notice it says one piece all wood construction. That's an important little fact you need to look at. It says wood. It didn't say what kind of wood. It just says wood construction. That's important to note. Now, as we scroll on down here, the body length, this is vitally important. For 2017, uh, this upcoming year, it's set at 240 millimeters minimum and a maximum 250. So this information you really got to pay attention to. So also about your dragsters. It talks about axle holes and wheelbase and all that. And let's look on down here where it talks about the actual wheels that we're looking for. So right here talks about the diameter of wheels. Right, here we go. All dragsters must have four wheels, no more. Uh, two wheels must meet the specifications. I thought they got a little misspell there. I'm not going to let them know about that. And then come down here, it says the diameter. And the diameter of the wheels right here it says 30 millimeters minimum, maximum is 37. This is for the front wheel. Well, that's what we're going to design first is the front wheel. So we'll go back to SOLIDWORKS and we'll get started on that. So I'll come to this new part and I'm going to design new wheels. So I'll go to New Sketch. Create the sketch, the circle by center, and I'm going to select right here, and I'm going to pull off. Now, I don't know what size that is. Oh, check this out. Remember, our default is set to inch pound seconds. We've got to change that. We've got a millimeter gram second, and we're going to double check our, our units. And of course, we should be set to four. That's great. Now, one other thing, real quick. You come up here and you look at your options. We didn't do this on the last one, but we need to do it later, so we'll go ahead and fix that here in a moment. It's drafting standard. Right now it says I'm set to ANSI modified. I'm going to change that to uh, ANSI period. Now if you notice, you also have ISO, DIN, GI, uh, JIS, etc. Um, ISO is the European standard. A lot of the world uses that. For us though, we're going to use the ANSI, American National Standard Institute. What that's going to do is let us set up a top, a front, and a right view with an isometric for our drawing types. So we'll go ahead and select ANSI. In the United States, everything is typically set to ANSI. Now we're back here to millimeter gram second. The smart dimension this and set that to 30 millimeters. Grab this here, pull off, let's try this again. Select it, and we'll set this guy here. Oh, I know what I need to do, I forgot. I'm going to edit the sketch. So I'll edit the sketch. Now I'll go back and set my. Um, Smart dimension. Before I do that, let's, let's stop here for a minute. Let's rebuild this here. Let's kind of figure out what I just did. What I did was I went up here and I said smart dimension and I clicked on that. Okay? Now you notice it's not dimensioning. Well, two ways of doing that. I can select down here the sketch and do edit sketch and it opens up the sketch. Now I can do smart dimension and I can set that size. Okay. Let's not set it just yet. Let's show you the other method. I'm going to delete that dimension. The other method was, when we build our darn here again, the other method was I come over here and I right mouse click on the sketch, and I come up here and say edit sketch. There's always a couple ways to do things in SOLIDWORKS, which makes it a great uh, CAD application to use. So now I'm going to set that diameter to 30 millimeters. Okay? And now it resizes it to 30 millimeters. Now I'm going to go up here and select circle by center. Okay, so I'll select circle by center. Now this this is kind of an important step right here. If we're using bearings on our axle, then we want to set this interior diameter of the, of the wheel to the outer diameter of our bearing. Well, we're going to make a simple dragster. We're not going to go with anything really super complicated. So I'm just going to go and say smart dimension that to the diameter of my axle. 
And you're probably saying, well, Mr. Platt, what was the diameter of the axle? Well, let's go find out. If I use my control tab command, I can open up the plane axle. You can come over here to sketch that we already created for our axle. You can right mouse click on that sketch and edit that sketch. Well, if we look here, it says, let's go ahead and rotate this around to our, to our side view, excuse me, to our, our right, left side view. Well, our axle is 3.175 in diameter. Okay, that's what we need to know. So let's go ahead and rebuild this. Let's do an F to fit the file and a control setting to look at it in isometric. Or I could have just selected up here like diametric or right? so either way. Now we'll control tab back to our wheel design, our front wheel design. And we're going to set this to 3.175. So we're going to accept it. Now, we're going to make our own custom wheels. Let's make sure we understand that we're making our own custom wheels. We're going to take using a laser engraver and we're going to cut out our wheels using acrylic to make our front wheel. Okay, so we've got that design. We'll go ahead and rebuild that. Now notice this rebuild command here where it says I can do a control B. I'll hit my control key and B and rebuild my document. Now, let's go ahead and save what we've got so far. So I'm going to save this as um, front wheel. You can see here in my, my display for my save files, I've already actually created some of these wheels already. I'm going to say front wheel new design. Okay, hit accept. Now, I'm going to go ahead and select that sketch. It's selected and I can edit it. And while I'm in editing mode, I can go up here to features and I can extrude that. Well, it's an important question here. It says 10 millimeters. That's kind of a big, wide, fat front wheel. Let's go look at the CRG, the Competition Rules Guide, and see what it says. Okay, it says the front wheel at surface contact point can be 1.5 millimeters. Well, gee, what does that actually mean? Uh, it means that it's 1.5 millimeters is what it means. Well, if I'm going to buy material and I'm going to laser engrave, I have to look at the material that I'm going to be able to use. Okay, well, let's go back and think about that. Let's go back to SOLIDWORKS. So here in SOLIDWORKS, I'm going to go ahead and set that to, let's say I know I can purchase at Home Depot or Lowe's, I can purchase acrylic sheets in a sixteenth of an inch. Well, a sixteenth of an inch is 0 .06125, 0 .0625, excuse me. And I'm going to key in a double quote to make that an inch, and I'll hit enter. Okay. Well, look here. It sets it to 1.5875. Well, that's actually really good. So we're going to go ahead and accept that. Now think about that for a moment. We go back over here to our CRG. It says 1.5 millimeters. So if I go to a sixteenth of an inch thick, like you saw in our design here, then I know that my, let me do this, I'll do a right mouse click extrude, edit my extrude. If I'm at 1.5875, then that gives me a little safety just in case the judge's calipers are not correct. Real important little fact you need to know about how dragsters get judged in competition. Okay, let's do a control B and let's rebuild our file. Now remember in dragster, it says we always have to track our weight. So weight's our enemy, so we have to know exactly what our weight should be. Well now we need to know what kind of material we're gonna use. So I selected material and I do edit material. Well, I don't see anything here that I can use. So I'm gonna go to edit material. In SOLIDWORKS, it always defaults to, to steel that comes up first to look at, because a lot of people make steel stuff. Well, I'm going to come down here to plastics, and I'm going to set myself to acrylic high impact. So I'll select that, and I'll hit apply, and I'll hit close. Well, it's going to come in clear. Well, I'm, I can use clear if I want. I want to change it to a color just so I can see it a little bit better. And I'm going to go ahead and set, bring up my materials editor. Uh, on my scenes and decals, I'm going to select plastic, expand that, I'll say high gloss, I'll come down here and I'll find a color that I like, I'm kind of partial to blue, so I'll grab the blue and drag it up here and put it on the top, and now I've got my blue wheel, control B to rebuild, and control S to save, so our front wheel is now designed.